you and me are gonna go for a little walk and we're just gonna be testing out this slider. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I really, really like that it takes only a couple of seconds to set this baby up. I just pop it in here, hold it for two seconds, and that's it. It's ready to go. It also doesn't really make a lot of noise, which is great. your nerdy science glasses on because we're gonna kick this off with the technical stuff. This baby weighs 1.1 kilograms, can hold up to 8 kilograms, 54 centimeter total sliding length. I mean, what else do you really need to know? It's portable, fits in a normal sized camera bag, but I know you came here to see more of that sweet footage. So here you go. Let's talk about uh, the things I like and dislike about the sliders. I love the build quality of this thing. I have put it in places where I shouldn't have put them, in a lot of wet places, windy places. I have already scratched it everywhere, but it's still holding on like a champ. So build quality, top notch, I love it. And I really like that it has all these built-in basic functionalities. You can go to point A to point B. You can change how quickly it goes from point A to point B. That's really nice. Honestly, that is where it kind of ends. All the issues I have with this slider are in the app itself. Let me just launch the app and show you a couple of things. So first of all, it connects really nice, really fast, so that's good. The first thing that immediately catches my attention is the terrible um, app design. I don't like the colors, I don't like how everything is placed, it's just not appealing to me. This weird ellipse they have where they display the tilting, the motor, the focusing. Why couldn't you have just taken these three things out, follow, focus, tilt, rotate and put it in like an advanced tab or something so I don't have to look at them because I don't have those things. Also, what's up with the curved this thing? Why couldn't you have made it just straight and bigger maybe so I don't have to struggle with the points so much and it's... why? <laughs> okay, another thing I hate is, okay, you select point A, blah blah blah, you go there, you select point B. Check this out, I cannot tap on the interval and change it manually. I have to literally change the curves here to change the interval, like why? If I, let's say, want it to be like 200 seconds, just look how low I have to go. And it, look, it's so low already and it's only 50 seconds, why can't I just tap here and change it to whatever I wanted to change it to? Okay, but it gets worse. <laughs> when I go to the time lapse, uh, tab, there's a lot of settings as you can see here. You have to connect your camera with the slider, but I just couldn't. I tried like 10 different uh, wires, I couldn't get it to work at all. So this is pretty much useless to me. Uh, let's say I'm doing a time lapse and I want the time lapse to be 10 minutes long. Check this one out. So again, I cannot tap the time interval, I have to manually 
somehow work with the curves. But here's the thing, it's so low down that I can't get 10 minutes. It's impossible. But here's the thing. So I started it, check this one out. It's not even displaying the time when it's gonna finish its thing. Are you kidding me? Implement a goddamn timer. Is it that difficult to do? And last but not least, the app sometimes disconnects randomly. And when I open it again and try to connect to the slider, I can't, it's not doing anything anymore. I have to hard crash the app and like uh, restart the slider and then it's only gonna work. And one of the worst things ever that has happened to me four times is uh, someone was calling me. I accepted the call because I just had to. Blah, 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 drop the call. And it just crashes the app. And I have to, again, restart the uh, the slider. And the, okay, the good thing is that the time lapse is usually still going, right? But after it's done, I have to restart everything. It'll hard crash the app, open it again, restart the slider. It's super annoying. So yeah, when it comes to the app, it's terrible. The app is absolutely, oh, uh, speak of the devil, it crashed again. Look at this, if I wanna go back to it, I can't. And if, if and yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've actually been having quite some issues with the time lapses. I finally managed to get it working and it's capturing a pretty cool time lapse, but uh, here's the problem. A lot of times it just disconnected, a lot of times it didn't even work, so I needed to hard crash the app and reset the uh, slider and Finally, after 20 minutes of work, but in those 20 minutes I could have gotten three time lapses, but instead I'm only gonna get one because it started raining and uh, yeah, it's it's really dark. So this is what I noticed also. You hold your phone vertically and suddenly go into landscape mode, the app automatically disconnects you from the slider. Why? Not really sure, I've never seen that kind of an issue before. When it comes to video, just like simple shots, right? I love using this slider, it's amazing. It makes me think about my shots every single time. I'm not just like pointing it everywhere and getting all possible random shots. I'm actually thinking about the movement, I'm thinking about what's in the foreground, what's in the background and all that. When it comes to time lapses, I just got really pissed off at it. I don't think I'm gonna be capturing any more time lapses with it just because I wasted so much time and I could have gotten many other shots. Well. At least this time, I was able to set up the time-lapse really quickly, it took me just like a minute or two. However, the only issue is that uh, I only managed to get 300 seconds, I just couldn't get any more. Only 300 seconds, which is a bummer, but whatever, I guess. Now, the most important thing is that it's not gonna crash on me. <laughs> yeah, but not kidding, it's pretty rainy now and it's still going. I know that the parts are kind of exposed and I'm probably doing more harm than helping the slider right now But uh, hey, as I said, I'm not the kind of a guy who's gonna keep that tool in my shed for years I just want to take it out. I want to see what it's capable of. I want to just completely freaking torture it uh, But yeah, so far going strong. No issues, ma not making any noises even though rain has hit every part of the slider pretty much Solid product, terrible app. As simple as that My final, final verdict of this slider. I was just using it in the sand for like 20 minutes or something. Loved the experience, it gave me zero issues. Everything was all right. The motor still didn't make any noise even though uh, I put it in sand. It's a fantastic tool. The hardware is there. It's built like a tank. I don't think it's meant to be used in rain and these kind of harsh conditions, but I did use it. It had zero issues. The motor wasn't making any noise, even in the rain. It was just such a smooth experience. The biggest issue lies within the software and software can be updated. So Zeepin, please update the app and this slider is gonna become fantastic. At the state where it's now, I would not recommend this slider to anybody, just because the app doesn't work as it should. If they would fix the app, this would be one of the most amazing sliders I've ever had the uh, joy to play around with, but uh, as it stands now, sorry Zeep, and you, if you would fix the app, I would just instantly recommend it. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching and you know the drill. Peace out.